What a view. What a view. Hey, Namaskar, everyone. How are you? Hopefully, everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, if you are new here, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And that brings up two questions that I know you're going to ask. Where are we and what are we doing? Let's start with the where are we? We are in Ohio. And I, I think I'm going to give you a couple hints of uh, so you can guess where we are. And that's the view I was talking about. It gets better, though. I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, Amelia Earhart once said that this was the most recognizable city in the country. Anything? Nothing? Okay, hint number two. This was Ohio's second state capital. Still nothing. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to tell you. This is Zanesville, Ohio. So we are in Zanesville, Ohio, and that in, is in Muskingum County. This is named after Ebenezer Zane, and what he did is he cut and he conquered a, a pioneer trail from what we know, what we know now is West Virginia through Ohio and into Kentucky. And that would be, uh, we know it as Zane's Trace. Now, um, I said that this was Ohio's second state capital. It was. It was between 1810 and 1812. Ohio had three state capitals. The first one was in Chillicothe, Ohio. Second, Zanesville, Ohio. And finally, Columbus, Ohio. I also mentioned that Amelia Earhart once said that this was the most recognizable city in the country. Look at this. Look at this view. I like the old architecture over there. I think today's going to be a fun adventure. And you know, it, it, I'm going to walk over here uh, and I'll continue with the story. But she said it was the most recognizable city in the country. Now, why do you think she would say that? Why, why, why? I would bet it has something to do with that bridge behind me there. That right there that you're looking at, right there, that is the Zanesville Y Bridge, and that was built in 1814. Now, if you go back in history, early pilots, they, they uh, a lot of times they depended uh, uh, on landmarks to like kind of pinpoint where they were. That's probably one heck of a landmark when you're up in the air looking, right? So I told you it was built in 1814. Now, through the years, that has been rebuilt many times, many times. It is on the National Historic uh, Register, and uh, it's the only bridge that you can that you can cross and still be on the same side of the river. <laughs> so that's funny. There's an, actually an ongoing uh, ongoing joke with that. Uh, when people ask for directions, the locals will tell them go to the middle of the bridge and turn right. But look at that. Yeah, it's the Y bridge from the air. It's gonna look cool. I'm actually gonna try to get my drone up in the air and see if I and see if I can get a uh, aerial shot of that. But this is Zanesville. This is Zanesville, Ohio, and that uh, that bridge, the Y bridge. I I believe it's been on Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's a courthouse over there. I believe it's been on Ripley's Believe It or Not, and um. Bridges of the World, and I think that's a Japanese, I want to say that's a Japanese uh, program. Zanesville actually has a lot of cool history if you read about it. It was part of the Underground Railroad. It was part of Morgan's Raid. 
the national road. A um, lot of bootlegging through prohibition. And pottery. That is where our adventure is going to take us today. We're going to kind of get artsy today. So, if you're ready uh, to get this adventure started, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. Okay, this is not going to be our final destination for today's adventure, but this is a destination on the way. Um, I'm actually going to walk to, across the street because there is an art monument there, but I'm all about architecture, right? Check this out. Muskingum County Courthouse. Check that building out right there, guys. Look at that. Got the clock tower up top. Look at that. Erected 1874. Man, how cool is that? Let's walk across the street. I see a statue over there we'll go. But let's, uh, let's follow the rules, man. We'll take the crosswalk over here. Okay, check this out. Check this building out. <laughs> oh man, is this freaking awesome. Look at that. I gotta tell you, no matter where we go, there's always those people that just don't want to stop for pedestrians. I don't get it. There we are, we are talking about the National Road. Zanesville National Road. So. If you want to pause it and read that, you are welcome to. And right there, where did I tell you? Zanesville served as Ohio's capital from 1810 to 1812. Ohio second, Ohio second, uh, second state capital. This though, I gotta show you guys this, man. Wow. Let's get right into the, here we go, right here. Here's the historical marker. They have shirts that say I stop for, for historical markers and I, I'm thinking about getting one. I don't know if my, no, nope, okay. I'm looking for my shadow in there. It's hard to see in the lens. Second capital of Ohio. Look at that. And again, if you want to read that, if you're slower, read and pause it and you can read it. <laughs> oh man, wow. Look at that. How cool is this? Man, look at those, the lights right there at the end. But here we go. Here's another um, marker right here. Let's see. Erected by the people of Muskingum County, of those who rendered service to our country during the World War. He has a grenade in his hand right there. His rifle. That is that is awesome. This is why 
this is why I always suggest people walk around in their own town because you might not you might not know what you're gonna find look at this other side it's a whole other side over here man Wow now this is what this is actually isn't what I was coming to see there's another monument uh, that I'm gonna show you down here like I said we're getting artsy today right because this was a big pottery town art town check that out I wonder if those were is that a was that a window up there or were those doors right in the middle man that's that's great that's a great building that is a super awesome building but the uh monument that I'm going to go down it's just it's a sculpture I think it was I think it was put up in 2010 I, I think let's see what this is right here miles will get it all since we're going this is like a little park memorial park it's a monument again pause it and read it if you want to that's that's a nice monument it's a nice monument but the the, the uh, memorial that i'm going to show you it's the it's the world war ii in korea korean war monument um and it's dedicated it's dedicated to i believe 297 servicemen that are from muskingum county okay and uh it's i can see it from here it's Wait, wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Another monument. Yeah, this is a nice little uh, memorial park. Right over here this is what I'm talking about. All those helmets right there are names of uh, all the fallen, all the fallen soldiers. That. We're from Muskingum County. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the uh, out of the video. I'll get over there so you can see though, but I want to show you. There should be three statues and then and then that right there. But here, I don't know if anybody knows anybody from here, but I will do this and pause it and uh, hopefully you can see that here's the other two over here yeah there's three uh, three of the statues right here got all their grenades well that, that even has the pin on it Wow He's consoling them. Do all of them have the pins on it? I don't know. This one just, yeah, this one has the pin. That one has the pin. Got his backpack on there. How about that? Now here is what I was talking about. I try to get out of the sun. But it has all these helmets. They're individualized with names of uh, all the fallen servicemen this is this is really this is really cool I mean you know not not that they're not with us no more but this is one heck of a monument right here right I think are these real yeah okay so it's just yeah they put uh, stones between the helmets Wow shadow I'm trying to stay out of the trying to stay out of the shadow for everybody again I don't know if anybody knows anyone uh, 
magnets in here or not. Let me get back and I show you the whole. There it is right there, just all the all the helmets. And there is a plaque in here, yeah. World War II and Korean War Memorial, yep. 297 men, Muskingum County. Tell me this isn't an amazing memorial piece. Wow. Just wow. Now, I told you this wasn't this wasn't the final stop for us to go to. Um, we are going to another location and that will be our final destination that is where our adventure destination will be so we are gonna hop back in the truck and i was still <laughs> i'm still amazed at the windows up there that building is a look at the sky oh my god that is awesome Jeez, wow that is awesome but uh Let's hop back in a truck. We'll go, we'll go down the road a little bit. And uh, we'll see a little bit more art and get our, get our artsy on. Okay, we have made it. We've made it to our adventure destination. We are in downtown Zanesville. Okay. And we are going to check out the art of Alan could trill i hope i'm saying that right um he has a studio downtown now alan was born in 1952 his dad was a milkman which i was a milkman for nine years one of my favorite jobs i ever had but his dad was a milkman he was the first one out of his family to graduate from high school he went to college, he went to the army, he was a truck driver. I'm almost positive that he started his own um, fast food chain. And then in 1990, he met his mistress, Clay. That's right, Alan Cottrell, he is one of the best figurative sculptures in the world, okay? He has a studio down here and we're about to walk the sidewalk of sculptures is what we're gonna do. Um, I know he, he studied in New York. I know he studied human anatomy. Uh, he did travel to, to see personally some of the uh, most famous sculptures and such. Um, what we are about to walk and including his studio is the world's largest bronze sculpture exhibition in the world uh, of a living sculptor okay so that's what we are about to do this is going to be really cool um because not only is it an art studio okay this is a roadside attraction so even if the studio is not open and i'm hoping we can get in here today i think we can uh last time i was down here i only got to si wa uh, walk the sidewalk it's a must see when you're here. You love roadside attractions, this is one. So Zanesville, I told you, Zanesville has a, a little bit of everything, but check this out. <laughs> we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk all the way up there and his studio is that building up there. And I don't know if you can see through the trees, there's something on top of that building. From here, it almost looks like the Mothman or something up there, but it is not. I will tell you what it is when we get up there. But let's walk this up to a studio there's a uh, donkey yeah this this uh, medium is really awesome for art I mean look at the detail in, in... Wow. here's a sheep I think there was I, I think there might have been one here maybe he sold it or something happened to it I'm gonna try to stay out of the uh, Again, the sun is bright, so I'm going to get the shadow out. Look at this, a sheep with a penguin on its back. 
Check that out. How cool is that? Look at the penguin up there. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's on the sheep's back. It's a actually there's a whole there's a whole bunch of sheep there. I see I swear there was more stuff here, but yeah. All the sheep. Now the backdrop, the backdrop here isn't isn't uh so great. You know what I mean? But uh you know, it is what it is. But this this is I never I didn't even notice. Look. He has skates on. <laughs> yeah, look. There's skates on there. Look at that. Even on the back. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's another one. Oh boy. Now, is this the cocaine bear? I don't know. <laughs> it might have been. Look at that. Oh man. Check him out. Fierce. Look at that. Look at his claws. Look at his claws. Oh boy. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. That is really cool. Wow. I think here is what did what do they call these guys? Is it a majorette? Is that what they call the is that what they call them? Majorette? I guess so. That that's pretty cool. I dig that. I like actually watching the school uh bands in, in uh, that play. There's his little thing that he uses and here's those weird little things on their helmets. Uh <laughs> Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, we still got a little bit to go, but yeah, this is this is cool. And I'll tell you what, this is a, I'm in February. I'm walking around in a t-shirt. The sun's out. It's a little chilly, but not crazy. Another uh another little memorial piece I guess you could say this was the helmet yeah. what is that eagle up top that's cool yeah yep he's one of the best in the world one of the best figurative sculptures in the world Alan Patrill. Now he's reading a book. I don't know what book he's reading. I don't know. What book do you think he's reading? He's reading something that's making him think that he's somewhere else. That's what I love about books. You can go anywhere in the world you want when you read a book. Now, I don't know. I'm not sure uh, who it is. If you know who this is, uh, let me know. But uh, take a little break. Who are you? He's shy or something. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Uh, here's another, I guess this would be another memorial piece um, of a fallen uh, fireman. Now I wonder, I wonder if here, you know, is this from people rubbing it or is that just the finish on it? Because when people rub the, you know, bronze it turns gold. Yeah. Sorry about the shadow. That's awesome. Okay, what is this? Samuel Weller, Weller Pottery. Now, when we go inside his studio, hopefully, 
I believe that he has in there when he him and his wife pass away I think he he uh, created the, the uh, toppers uh, for the graves um, hopefully we get to see hopefully he's open and we get to see that I've never I never been inside I've seen through the windows man and it looks freaking amazing Wow look at this look at that crazy wonder how much something you know like this cost and I wonder how long I wonder how long it takes look I'm, I'm <laughs> that's how tall it is I'm underneath it Wow Look at that blue sky though that blue sky by it. Oh man Here's a golfer I don't know where the ball went. I don't see it. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna get close. When we get up there, I show you. Now it's now we can see what it's kind of looking like, you know, when we get up a little closer. Here's a uh, maybe an Olympic winner. It looks like he got the four medals. Are those uh, what are they? Let's see. Is that a bronze maybe? Berlin, Berlin. Look, they even have the, the cleats on there on them. Okay. Now, what's this guy doing? He has an apple. He has an apple in his hand. Has some tokens up here. He's reading a book. Oh, you know what? This looks like he's he's a miner. Yep, he must be a miner. Yeah. Must be a miner. Yeah, this is a really cool uh, uh, thing to walk and see. It's it's just it's a it's amazing actually firsthand when you're seeing it. Now he, I don't know, is he a bird, uh, is he a bird hunter or something? But yeah, here's, uh, Alan Catrill. Right, there's this. Yeah. Might be too dark right there to see. Yeah, is it, what's that, a bullet in his mouth right there? one right there uh, what's that for the Navy right and then let's see I see California 42 Notre Dame Got a poodle. I'm 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 gonna be honest with you. I'm not fond of poodles. My one of my bosses way back uh, when I worked for a moving company, um, Fred Board was his name, and he had a poodle. And this poodle went everywhere with him, and it sat in his front seat. No, nope. everywhere you went. Like if you were a passenger, you were sitting in the back. You weren't sitting in front because his poodle. <laughs> was sitting in that front seat but i was never i don't know i was never fond of poodles i don't know why i think it was all the the weird haircuts that their owners give them but i you know i guess that's uh what they do look at this horse but before i go up because i don't want to miss them up there that is a delaware indian chief and i forget i forget what his name is nemacolin maybe uh chief nema calling me i i i forget what his his name is but that is a delaware indian chief 
up there on top of that building. How, how cool is that? Yeah, it's something. Namakalan, Nemakalan chief. Nemacolin. He's a Delaware Indian chief. That is really cool. It is on the corner of the building there. But here's the other horse. Or another one. Look how big they are, man. Wow. Jeez. Look at that. Wow. Look at these big urns. It's an urn here, an urn over there. Yeah, he must be open. Catrill Sculpture Studio and Museum. Yeah, this is the studio here. A lot of book reading. A lot of book reading going on. Right? Look at him. I like that. He has a staff right there. He has his bag of... Uh, I don't know what's in it. Look how big his boots are too, man. He's... He's a uh, wanderer. Here's another horse. And what's this here? What's this say? After Frederick Remington. Alan Catrill, 2002. So this was 2002. Look at that. Wow. And you know what? You know what's really cool about this sculpture that I've seen? But hold on, let's get a closer look up at this. Okay, look. There he is, there's his face. But you know what's really cool? Is this snake right here. Remember I told you, always look up, always look down. Especially when you're hiking. There's a snake. What's that? Nah, I'm not from down here, man. Me. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, I don't know any of the roads through here, man. Me. All I know is by the gas stations down here. Oh, okay, yeah. When in doubt, keep walking, man. <laughs> Ain't got no data to ask nobody either. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. There's a soldier. Gone. Yeah, see how the, uh, nah, it must be just the way it's made because it's it is bronze. That is cool. This is interesting. I'm not sure what that is, but it's interesting. And there's oh, I okay. Wow, how about that? It is a it is a cancer patient. That's yeah. So I don't know what the story is. Um, she defeated death. Behind us, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, defeated death. That's huh. Yeah. See, this is all. This medium is all about storytelling as well. Check these out. Oh man. Wow. George Washington up top. Here's the, uh, here's what it is. So George Washington, Noah Norris, Leonard da Vinci, Grieving Woman. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three. Yeah, third down would be Jesus. Wow. How cool is that? Wow. Man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Even up, yeah, there's sculpture gallery. And you got, the, uh, he probably made all this right there. The sculptures are right there. Here's another one. Is this, this is different here, but George Washington again up top. And those are the people um, right here. Zane Gray. 
author. Winston Churchill. Look at these. Wow. How cool is that? Doris Harrison. And there is the other urn. So I think what we're going to do, see, there is road parking here. And we just walked all the way. It starts down there and it comes up this way. How cool is that? So, oh, I didn't even show you this. Look, they're, they're uh, snake. <laughs> they're snake handles. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I say we uh, we go in and this is the museum. You're, this is so awesome in here. This is very, very awesome in here. Wow. Oh man. Wow. Look at this. Come on. Just... And always when you come to places like this, okay? And it's a it's a suggested donation. These are hard-working individuals. So always leave, always leave a donation. Wow. And then I take care of these guys. These are all, look at this and it'll tell you who it, who it is, the bust of Christ. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. Hello. There's some more over here. Good, how are you? Is it okay to just go? Okay. okay. I've never been here before. I've been last time I was here, you weren't open. <laughs> We're from Youngstown, so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. Well, welcome. Um, this is the Alcock Art Studio and Gallery, and in this building, this is where we actually sculpt our statues. Okay. We actually own some of the which is also located here in Zanesville. Just a few pointers around the place, right up the steps, is actually a gallery, three to four more pieces of stairs. Oh, really? This is our working studio down here, where wow. you see like a lot of Mac heads. You know, okay, if you're on it too? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> but um, the whole process is explained on a Mac wall, 25 steps total, photograph and nude that explain each step. There's also a wax in the back. You're more welcome back there in the room. Awesome. And if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, awesome. So I get to show you guys everything. Look at this. Wow. That is awesome. A lot of religious uh, depictions, but let me go over here and show you some more. Wow. <laughs> How are you? There's a cultural town. There's a cultural town in West Virginia. And a cultural cemetery. I've not been there, but you know. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to have to go and I'm going to ask his brother. Like I said, maybe he is. That is awesome. Or just call me and let me know his grandpa's name. Man. Yeah, that would be really interesting. Ivan? See, it takes a while. Ivan? I don't know. I don't I haven't seen that name. I'm not saying it's not in there, but like I said, my great grandpa had 26 years. These are awesome. 
we might have to see the great grandpa. American flag. Another soldier. Look at this. Yeah, this is their workspace. This is where they work. Ah, uh, look at that. I will get over there in a minute. I'm trying to show you as much as I can, guys. I know it's a lot of windows in here, uh, so a lot of glare. Look at these sculptures. Look at this. Boy, the flag. This is awesome. Wow. That was outside, I believe. Here is uh we just went and we just went and seen us. I showed you guys this downtown. Which isn't far. This actually isn't far from here. It's just right if you if you walk that way that you're gonna run into it. Yeah, here it is right here. Wow. Look at all. Look at all of these. These are great. Wow. There's another horse back there. Look at these. Well, let me see. Let me show you this side because of the lighting. Look at this, King Neptune. Wow. This is awesome. There's all kind back here. Wow. I don't know. I'm not a sculptor, so I don't know what, what that is. Maybe the curate or something? Abe Lincoln. This is really cool. I'm glad we got to come in here today. He's making Ruth Bader. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, look at that. And, and this. What was that? It's going to be doing Ruth Bader Gingrich. Oh, okay. Yeah, look. Yeah. So they must have, uh, he studies. Told you, um, he, he studied human uh, anatomy. Okay, wow, check this out. Some more pictures. Ah, oh, yeah. These are amazing, amazing. Look at look at how these are. These, these are crazy, and it all a lot of foam too, back there. They carve some out of there. Look. Whoa. <laughs> how cool is that? Albert Einstein. Wow. Here's some more uh, busts. Look how they, uh, this is what it's gonna be right here. Check this out. Wow. All starts with styrofoam. That is neat. Look at this sculpture here. That's neat. Got all the animals on the benches. Yeah, see, it's all foam. Wow. Let's see, uh, 
She said we can go back here. Let's go check this out. This is the wax. Oh, man. Wow, check this out. They're like the different molds and stuff. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. So what's this then? What are you doing he back here? Um, so generally speaking, once the artist is done sculpting a piece, yeah. I then uh, make the rubber mold and a plaster mold of it. Okay. The whole process contains a positive and negative, positive and negative elements. So you have your positive form in clay, and then essentially I make a negative element okay. in yeah. uh, the rubber mold and plaster mold. From this, I produce the wax, and that's what you see here. Okay. This is the wax. And um, so I cast this whole section and then I cut them up into panels. Yeah. And so each within each panel I have to just, you know, clean it up. Um, like this was all messed up right in here and I had to pretty much clean this section off and this is pretty much all done. Wow. But um, after I do that, uh, then I hang them up what's um, called a sprue. That's what the, the rest of them are all hanging up and they're ready to go. Those are all ready to go to the foundry. And so once those uh, get to the foundry, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take that screw piece and that wax and they're gonna dip it into what's called a ceramic shell, okay. creating a ceramic sh shell mold that completely encases the whole thing. Oh, okay. And so as you can see, it's all hollow on the inside. Yeah. Um, so whatever the wax is, the wrong will be, of course. And so, um, you're essentially um, creating another mold around it, and once you get it to the correct thickness, you're going to cut the top of that cup off, exposing the wax inside that cup. Oh, okay. And then you're going to put that, um, turn that upside down with an opening facing downwards, put it in a large kiln, yeah. melt out all that wax. The wax will help left ah, the negative okay. impression okay. inside the ceramic shell, so that's when you melt your bronze down to a liquid state. And then uh, pour that bronze into that oh, wow. shell okay. and it'll fill that void and thus that becomes the positive again. Oh, neat. So, so. Okay. So eventually the bronze will cool down, knock off your ceramic shell, expose your bronze piece, sandblast each individual piece, weld all the pieces back up together again. And of course, when you weld, it leaves a weld mark, so I chase that down yeah. and grind that down to a seamless finish. Give it a final sandblast and then patina it, which is essentially the color, and then you install the piece to remove Wow. That made any sense also. Yeah, no, it did. Yeah, no, it did. <laughs> but, and how long you've been doing this? Uh, going on 14 years. Oh, wow. Okay. So, a little bit. <laughs> awesome. But, yeah, so. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks for the information. Oh, you're welcome. All right. And you said upstairs is another gallery then too, Yeah, right? like this is the working studio down here and upstairs is like just kind of. Okay, I appreciate it. I appreciate it again. Thank you. You're welcome. Almost, almost reminds you of a slaughterhouse when you go, when you're walking through that. Okay, I guess uh, we can go upstairs. Okay, I think we should go upstairs now. And uh, uh, we'll go up here. I was going to tell you, I didn't, uh, I cut it off a little bit in there because he had music playing. And uh, that kind of uh, is bad for the videos because of the copyright stuff. I told you that before, I think. I think everybody knows if you watch YouTube, uh, that is the problem. Oh, I didn't know this was up here either. Oh, dude. This is cool. This is cool. Oh man, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk around. We are gonna walk around this way. 
We'll end up, we'll come back through that room last. Look at that. Told you a lot of books. A lot of books. There's that majorette again on a smaller version. Hunter with his hunting dog. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. I, I would ring it, but I, I don't know if we're allowed or not. All the bells. All the bells down there. Can we can we ring it? I don't want to hit it. I don't want to hit it too uh, too hard. These are awesome. Yeah, definitely uh, if you're in Zanesville, definitely check out the studio. Here's Brutus, Ohio State. Cool. It is bright up here with all the windows. I hope it comes, I hope the video comes out uh, okay over here. Man, this is freaking awesome. Wow. Look at this. Another horse. Some ostrich. I got something to show you. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Yeah, look at the horse. Little boy over there, so that's I'm assuming that's what it is. What does that say? Mildred Pony and Dog. Okay, so he did like a commission piece. Okay. Little benches. These benches are cool. Look at that. You can you can actually sit down on those, man. Wow. This right here is what I was telling you about. Um, this is Alan, and this is his wife Susan. You can tell that, look, I told you Alan was born in 1952. It's not, the date isn't set in yet. His wife was born in 1958. Look, just look at this. How cool are they? Now, these people are probably significant up here. Are they his, uh, maybe grandkids or what? Well, here, here, right here. Yeah, they have, they're probably all part of the family right here. Man. Now, what I was telling you about, um, these, yeah, these must be people in the family. This right here is when they pass away. When they pass away, these will be their um, tombs right here, her caskets, whatever you want to tell them. And look, they're holding hands. This is his wife and Alan. Look at that, holding hands. And there's his sculpting tools in hand. This is probably, this is probably my all time favorite piece in here. I mean, that's just, that's just awesome. Wow, that is awesome. That is, wow. What a medium to be able to be good at.
this this is awesome people yeah definitely definitely worth a road trip to zanesville and there's a lot of cool places to uh eat down here a lot of brew pubs there's an old ice cream parlor down here uh oh look at that a whale tail what's that oh look look at that it's a fountain dude I'm trying to get everything here for you. I mean, you know, uh, but yeah, you could spend a lot of time in here. Come here, I could just reflect in here, to be honest with you. milk jug or a milk can right there some more bus there's that uh that poodle out there this i don't know oh i was gonna say did something break no i think not more of the risque and I'm gonna keep these out because I don't know how YouTube feels about that I don't want to have to block anything out but uh, there's uh, the more risque section of uh, the studio like I said I don't want to uh, I don't know how YouTube feels about that there's the courthouse oh man sweet Oh, there's, check this out. Is that John Glenn? Oh man, there's more back here. Yep, let's go this way. That would be cool to see right there. Look at just the detail on these. Look at this. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. I see. I think the light's okay with that. And I would go by and tell you who everybody is on these, but I'm not going to because that is for you. After you watch my video, of course, that is for you to get in your car, take a road trip, and come out here and spend your time. Like I said, when I'm done, I'm probably going to walk around a little bit more uh, and uh, take some pictures for myself and stuff. that light again boy that sun is bright he was outside the bigger version I, I don't know why, well, nobody wants to hear me blab, right? I was going to say, I, I don't know why I'm being so quiet. I feel like I'm in a library, but I, I guess kind of, uh, kind of I am, to be honest with you, to be honest with you. You know, these right here, 
I don't know if they have them. Uh, let me see. There's a place in Zanesville that I think they had a, a lot with all these vases um, in it. I don't know if that's still around or not. Maybe I'll check into it. Let Ohio women vote. Wow. Votes for women. Wow. Yeah, this is all for women women votes. Women voters. That's that's really neat right there. I'll go around that way. Let me go out here and now, well, these are more men risque stuff too, so let me <laughs> skip out of there. But I don't know. I mean, how does you? I don't know how YouTube feels about that because this is art, and so I I don't know. I'm gonna have to read up about that one. Man, look at that. Different kind of Bigfoot. It's another one of those vases. Uh, we didn't go in here. Oh, 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 oh man. This is really cool. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> this is awesome. That one's man, that's awesome. I love to have my house filled with these. All right, continue our way down here. There's a couple more rooms that we're gonna go, and uh, I think. That's probably where the video is going to end. I'm probably going to end it up here, actually. Ah, here, right here. Chief Nemecolin. That is who is on the roof. So I, I, I had the name pretty close. I had the name pretty close. Pretty pretty close. Is this this is him right here, right? No, this is yeah. Chief Nemecolin. That's what's on the roof right there. All the human anatomy pictures. Never found an arrowhead, man, still. Man. One day, one day I will. I like that. Ah, man, the Civic Arena. This is in, I don't know if anybody knows, man, or remembers it, if you're, if you're, Young, you won't, but this is in Pittsburgh. Civic Arena. I remember going down to Pittsburgh and seeing that. This big, just dome in the middle of the downtown there. Not in the middle of downtown, but uh, downtown. 
There's that miner, we see him outside. Yep, he was a coal miner. Yeah, these are all, all the miners. Victorian love seat. Oh, one more room. I told you we'd finish. We'd finish in here. He must like horses too. A lot of horses. A lot of books. Uh, so you can tell, you know, what kind of person he is, you know? This was a really cool, I dig, I like that picture right there. This was a really cool exhibit. I'm telling you, check this out, man. Now this is the upstairs, so you can actually see their, their working studio downstairs. And you can come up here. I didn't even know this was here, but man, this is awesome. This was crazy awesome. This, this is this is I think the all time piece up here. Wow. So I'm glad you came on today's adventure, and uh, I think this is where I'm gonna end my video, and I'm gonna stay in a city for a little bit more and uh, do my own kind of thing. Uh, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, many more adventures uh, are going to be coming up this year. And, uh, man, this, this is just awesome up here. I'm, I'm just awe-stricken up here with everything. Man, I'm, I'm glad I came down here. I'm glad I came down here. So, yeah, definitely take a, ro a road trip to Zanesville. A lot of stuff to see. And it's uh, interesting, interesting history too. So um, I'll leave you with, with, with a couple, uh, you know, always, always be positive and just always be polite. You know, those are two things to, to try to add to your daily, uh, daily life. And, uh, Again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be, better than that